We enter the peak of the Atlantic hurricane season. More than three-fourths of all tropical activity happens from mid-August to mid-October, but so far this year, it's been quiet. Meteorologist Alexander Cranford explains why. One year ago, the month of August 2017 brought us hurricanes Franklin, Gert, Harvey, and Irma. But this year, we begin the peak of hurricane season with no tropical threats to the U.S. and a below average season forecast through November. So why the relatively sluggish season? To cook up tropical storms and hurricanes, you need these ingredients. Warm water, that great fuel of all hurricanes. Warm, moist air above the ocean. Winds at the surface converging or coming together to form a disturbance and a lack of wind shear, which is strong upper level winds that interfere with the vertical development of hurricanes. But this year, those essential ingredients are much harder to find. The tropical Atlantic and Caribbean waters are much cooler than average. The air above the ocean is dry and dusty as winds blow dust all the way from the Sahara Desert across the Atlantic Ocean, even over the Gulf and the US. The air is more stable, so there's less convergence or lift to initiate a disturbance that could later turn into a hurricane. And an El Nino is expected to form. El Nino increases wind shear and makes it hard for hurricanes to develop vertically. So when the Atlantic Basin runs low on these ingredients, mixing up a real hurricane is a lot harder. And we should note, while the season overall is expected to be less active than average, we are still expecting four to eight named storms before the end of November. And of course, keep in mind, it only takes one storm in the wrong spot, so don't let your guard down just yet.